Hello and welcome back to Gaming with Mim. I've got a special spooky treat for you today um, in honor of Halloween. I'm playing a spooky game. It's called The Dark Side Detective and it's on the Switch. So yeah, let's get, let's get to it. Oh, what do I do? Twin Lakes, Police System, Volume 13, Case Files. I guess we'll go with number one, that makes sense. How do I, oh, there I go. Case Summary. The Chief has sent me to the Jones's residence. Julie is there with further details. All right. It's the Malice in Wonderland is this case. Malice in Wonderland, not Alice in Wonderland. Oh, oh, okay. Pause menu. These two buttons are for cancel. These two are for examine and talk. Adjust cursor. Select dialogue to combine using both analog six together will boost the speed of your cursor. Ooh. Ooh, it's already spooky. It can also intersect, interact perhaps with the game by using the touch screen. The queen can sometimes wear items. Ooh. All right, let's see if I can remember that. <laughs> not the, I'm not always the best with the controls, but you know, we'll figure it out. Ooh, it's raining. Officer Dooley. Whoa! I almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Oh man, that policeman needs to keep his gun in his holster. Detective McQueen. Okay, Dooley, you watched me drive up. <laughs> Oops. I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. He knew he was there. I guess this place has got me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid, Alice, went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. <gasps> Did she fall down a rabbit hole, perhaps? Seems to be the kind of spooky crap. I mean, the kind of case you're into, detective. <laughs> Ooh, it's a spooky case. Great, let's get started. Go inside. Boy Jones. Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? <laughs> I think he's talking about us. We're not a hobo. Uh, that's Detective Francis McQueen. Mr. Jones, he's here to investigate. I see Twin Lakes' finest, eh? All right. Uh, oh, Mr. Jones. Last tray. I hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, Detective, I'm already... I'm rarely around my kid. That's not a nice thing to say. That's not thankful. What? How rude. I don't like Mr. Jones. Detective McQueen. Nice shooter. Ha <laughs> ha You dummy. That is not a shooter. It's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. <laughs> okay. Wait, what's this? We'll talk to Mr. Jones again. So how can I help you, detective? Uh, tell me about Alice. I'll level with you, detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly. A tedious age. So I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you last week? How come you didn't notice she was missing? I was out. No, wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. No, I think it is our business. I don't like this Mr. Jones, dude. And that's like the never-ending cigarette, too. Oh, that's horrible. 
they also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have to leave here to take you to. <laughs> Woohoo! Score one for Mr. McQueen, or Detective McQueen, I should say. Fine, call this number. They'll vouch for me. Dusty Bella's Booty Boutique. Hmm, classy stuff. Ah, bells. Bond memories. <laughs> what? I mean, where was he? A bell shop? What? Oh, we received an item. Matches. Why didn't we receive matches? That's kind of a weird thing to receive. Let's talk to Officer Julie. Whoa, these folks must be millionaires. He sure acts like it. Here we go. Should we go upstairs or should we go to the hallway? Mm, we'll do it upstairs. Alright, there's a telephone. What an odd place for a telephone. He must have run out of places to draw. I mean, put it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, flowers. A oh, place. This fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. Oh, they're plastic, are they? Interesting. Plus, is there anything? Oh, if there's an attic. We could go up in the attic. We could go to the master bedroom. Let's go to the daughter's bedroom. That was a good choice. Oh, mice. Oh, Mrs. Jones. Hmm. Ian Jones, my baby. My baby is gone. Tell me about Alice. She just disappeared. My baby. You have to find her. Oh, she's just... Hmm. She's just super distraught. Okay. That's understandable. Okay, there's a teddy bear. Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. A stupid no nothing bear. Unless it's a nanny cam bear. Then that would be helpful. This could be a drawing of our suspect. Really? I'll put out an APB then. <laughs> oh geez, Officer Dooley. I don't think he's the brightest cop in the, in the force, huh? Uh, no, Dooley. Don't do that. That's a tree. Looking at this, I doubt she's going to our school. Really? She's seven. Never seen a horse with five legs before. Well, the fifth leg is the tail, of course. Pins. There's no time for art, detective. Blacklight. This looks useful. We received an item. Blacklight m marker. Huh. What can we do with it? We, what can we do with it? Can we do something with it? Can we hold it? <gasps> There's a that's a rookie mistake. Oh. Alright. Well, let's look in the drawers. I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. That's the same thing in both drawers. Okay. I'm not seeing anything else going on in here. Should we talk to Julie again? Let's see. This is a lot of pink. I think I'd have to have run off too. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's try the master bedroom. Why is the needy in the master bedroom? That's kind of odd, isn't it? Okay, tell me about yeah, Alice. She's spoiled and slicks and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, right. What's the nanny doing? Nothing suspicious. That's for sure. No sorry. Oh, well, that sounded suspicious. How long have you been working for the Joneses? Joneses, detective. Even though it ends with an S, you still pluralize it. Is now really the best time. Hmm. It's always a good time for grammar. Anyway. Answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. Again, suspicious. We're done here for now. I'll get back to work. Find nothing else. And nothing else. What What does that mean? I think she's gonna... She, I think she's up to something. Detective McQueen. Okay, Alice and her mom look quite happy here. That's nice. 
Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of it all has hit her hard. It's in their drawers. Seems impolite to go ruffling around somebody's drawers uninvited. It's a murder mystery. That nanny is beautiful. Ask her if she's single, you know, as part of the investigation. Um, ask her yourself, buddy, but I think we should wait till... A waterbed, very fancy. Looks like something has been kicked under here. Oh, that doesn't. I received a strange page. Well, let's. It's a particular, a peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. What? Can you use it on the page? Would that be a bad thing to do? The label says. For use under black light. Okay, so I guess I have to wait till I have a black light. Alright, I think we found what we needed here. Huh. Interesting. Let's go to the attic. Maybe she's hiding up here. Paint thinner. The paint thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left of it now. Oh, well, we received some paint thinner. Thank you. Paint cans. There's a, these look heavy enough to knock somebody out with. Cold. Really? That's what you think? Broken lamp. Hmm. Maybe broken. Maybe not broken after all. Just a blown bulb. Hmm. Maybe. Boxes. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. Hmm. More boxes. A box marked Anne's Broken Dreams. What? Who's Anne? Is Anne the mom? She has broken dreams. Why would she label her box that? That's so weird. As utilities. As... What does that say? Addicts. Hmm. That says addicts go. This is... This is extra creepy. Yeah, it's like really dark and... Weird. Okay. Broken dream boxes. Alright, let's go downstairs. To the hallway. Oh my gosh, there's a lot going on in this hallway. Okay. Uh, grandfather clock. This reminds me of my own grandfather clock. Well, congratulations, detective. Okay. Your grandfather was a clock? Oh, jeez. <laughs> what? No, he had a clock. Shame, I thought I'd finally found out something interesting about you. What? I am interesting. Whatever you say, detective. Oh my gosh, that officer is really funny. Okay, one of those crystals is worth more than I get paid in a year. We could take one. You, uh, passed the corruption test well. Well done, detective. Oh my goodness. What are we gonna do with him? Okay, so we have living room, closet, and study. I say we check the closet first. Are the spider webs in the closet? Do they never enter the closet? There's a box of junk. Oh, a black light bulb. May as well take it. Yes, we can use it with the lamp upstairs in the attic. Now all we need is a disco ball, some white clothes, and f and what does that say? Fat beats. Then we've got ourselves a good night. <laughs> Officer Dooley. A good night we'll be finding this kid. Alright, we got a black light bulb. That's good. Helpful. Let's talk to the crazy Officer Dooley. Did you follow me into this closet? You may have needed backup. Okay. Alright, to the living room or to the study? Let's go to the study. Locked. I wonder where we find a key. I think it's Mr. Jones might have a key. Let's ask him. So how can I help you, Detective? Um, I want to access your study. I love to help, Detective, but I seem to have misplaced my key. Sorry. What do you mean you've misplaced it? I've taken up enough of your time. And I have nothing further to say, Detective kindly leave me be. Hmm. Huh. So this is the living room. So let's... 
Hmm. Did we talk to him in this location? Hey, are you free to help wallpaper my sister's house this weekend? I can do the first floor, but I need somebody to hold the ladder while I do the second. I think she means the inside rooms. Really? Thank goodness. I was not looking forward to wallpapering that roof. Officer Dooley. What? I don't even know what to do with that guy. Alright, let's go back up to the attic. I'm going to try and see if I can put this black light bulb into the lamp. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Black light bulb. Broken lamp. I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. Uh, oh, what the heck? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. <laughs> okay, dark side doorway. The, the pattern on the wall looks washed out in places. I wonder what would happen if I redrew it. Um, okay, so I'm guessing we have to. It's a particular pattern from the cold. Yeah. How do you. But. Okay, I seem to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and read all those missing symbols. Oh, here we go. Okay. Alright, so. Those look right. That looks right. That looks right. That looks okay. Alright, double checking. So we need this one. So that one looks like this one. I think it does. Alright, seems to be okay. And then this sort of looks like this one. I think this is right. It looks like it has dots. Okay. And then we need a box with two dots on the side. <gasps> it worked! That should be it. Oh, that's creepy. Whoa, okay, so it just opened. That's creepy. Okay, maybe now is a good time to stop doing, well, anything really. Alright, so let's go in. <laughs> Even I'm not foolish enough to go in there, in there with no light. We have matches paint thinner. What do we need? Do we have to get a light? Do we take the light with us? Do we take the matches with us? Seems like a bad idea. Alright. So we have to find a light. Where, where, do, do we see one anywhere? What do we do? Let's, Officer Dooley should have one. I wonder if I can file for early retirement. How, what officer doesn't have a flashlight maybe in the boxes no forgotten memories let's go downstairs mm, let's see this lady is not very helpful say so you're the nanny very innocent nanny yes why would you say that do you have keys for the various rooms Nanny and I made right, but do you? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, just answer the question. May I have the key to the study then? Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there anyway. I don't I don't get her. Okay, study key, that's good. What else is tell me about the <laughs> demonic doorway? Nothing, not a thing. There's nothing to do with me. That's for sure. I was here the whole time. Oh my gosh, she summoned it. We're done here for now. I'll get back to work. Okay. No, okay. All right, so maybe the flashlight is in the study. Let's go check. To the study. Down the stairs. To the hallway. And the study. Now we have a key. So, so he said he misplaced it, but then Nanny had it, so that means she stole it. Let's, oh wait. I have to use the key. And hey presto, we're in. Here we are. It's the study. Like how would he not know? We can't oh, 
I can check the magazine collection. This guy is obsessed with drugs. Drugs magazine. Okay. A nice collection of books. The dust suggests they've never been looked at in some time. Shame. A lantern. Well, that could work. An old oil lantern seems to have some oil left, too. Excellent. We now have a lantern. Okay, that works. I was expecting a flashlight, but that's... Lantern will work. Okay. This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. It's a dog. Hey, there are only two seats in this house. Don't be daft, Julie. There are more. They're just off camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay you can never trust a man who has too many books that's what i say how many books are too many six <laughs> how many books do you own i don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning <laughs> must be more than six. <laughs> oh, now we can look at the painting roy jones esquire it takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves oh. I mean, they have the painting of his wife. Okay, so let's go back to the demonic door. And use our newfound lantern. Oh my gosh, are we ready? I don't know. Are we scared? Is it creepy? That would be more useful if it was like, oh, okay. Oh my goodness. You have to do everything. I should probably light this thing, you know, just in case. Okay, now we have a lit lantern. Now it makes sense. Okay. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm going nowhere near that creepy, creepy fast. Uh, I'll stay and guard out here. Oh, there she is! Alice! Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good, I'm hungry, and the sounds from downstairs are so carrying me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Crash bang. Not so fast, detective. Oh. Mm, the nanny. <laughs> where's Dooley? What? What do you mean, where's Dooley? Oh, the detective asked that. Nanny McFiend? <laughs> that idiot. I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore. I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian after all. It's my job to look after her, especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, they're getting trapped in a dark sides version of their bedroom. It's where they'd be now if Alice hadn't gotten into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself in here. I figured it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. Oh my goodness. What kind of cop would give up on the missing kid? Most of the TLPD. Sadly fair. <laughs> mm. So, that's what this is, an inheritance scheme? You have to admit, it's fairly per perfect crime. It is, actually. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'd have known to keep her mouth shut. What did she say? Once Julie wakes up, you and your scheme will be done for. Hmm, good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him to here with, drag him in here, into here with you. Come on. I don't know. I can't, I can't talk right now. <laughs> no, I'm not going to drag him. What are you talking about? Oh, look, we're all out. Just keep her in there. How do we close her in? What do we do? Let's bonk her. It's a paint thinner. It thins paint, not evil nannies. Oh, but I thought we could bunker out with it. Oh, I guess we could um, erase some of the paint, though. Have a taste of your own medicine. No. Oh, it's whacked. She's trapped. Well, that's that problem solved.
Come on, Alice. Let's wake up Dooley so I can tell him my pun. <laughs> Pretend it's the first time you heard it, okay? Uh, okay, mister. She's like, who are you? That was crazy. So the kid got into the nanny stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in the creepy attic. The dark side. But that's a surprisingly succinct succinct summary of things yes wow i'm having a really good time reading today shame on the nanny she was certifiable she was a looker <laughs> oh my gosh she knocked you out dooley dooley she was dabbling in the dark arts with a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world and kidnap their kid and steal all their cash that was a shame. Jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from. Anyways, that stuff is hard to find these days. A case for another day, I guess. First of all, I have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers all this mess. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna... Case closed! We solved our first case! Alright. That is... Dark Side Detective. What did you guys think? Did you like it? A little spooky mystery on Halloween night. Have fun, be safe, and see you next time. Bye!